offend your ego. My house is private and I did not invite you in. Yet you're standing on the door, not caring about the frank sound or the thick ring. Arms relaxed and hands down, sure you're not angry. You're showing you're also totally objective. Do it all for the sake of modernity. Eyes conducting a violating scrutiny, one sent before you to rip my curtains off or analyze the color of my walls. Are they appropriate enough? Do they sit well with your taste? Can I go to the bathroom? Please. You're still partly smiling as if you hadn't just been turned down by a freak. Do you define me a bit eccentric when with your friends? The devotion to your own mind has led you believe you could actually say something about it. Do something about it. Long talks, powdered lips, navel tips, while you push me aside in order to continue your study. Animals in a zoo. And I frankly wish we didn't have those. At times. But you don't even pay. Your ticket to the show is a mid-tempo knocking on wood. You finish my sentences and you judge my family photos. Yes or no debates in the air. It will be argued later tonight on the TV at friends dinners by politicians. Everyone so convinced it's legitimate to prioritize love and police my sexuality, to critique my lover's beautiful hair, merely because they desire to feminine masculine in between. Looking through the glass, your privilege makes you unaware, but alarmed. How do you feel about it? How do your kids feel about it? Are you okay? When realizing and confronting with the shocking fact that you don't get to decide or utter a single sentence about what I can be.